There's a crappy plug-in pretend games console called the Zavix Port. It was released by a Japanese company that doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. It had a couple of sports games that were basically Wii Sports ripoffs had Wii Sports been released for the Super Nintendo. Its only claim to fame was that I reviewed it here on CGR Undertow. Sales went up tenfold. They still owe me royalties. I'd, I'd never seen anything like those Zavix port games. Then I played Wad... La la la. Now, listen. Don't get the wrong idea here, dick. I, I mean, Zavix Golf barely works. That's not the case with Way Lai A Lay. This at least works. It looks an awful lot like Zavix Port Golf. It's got the same ugly 2D backgrounds, the same lousy water. The water's lousy. And I guess the only people who can afford to watch golf in this goddamn place are cardboard cutouts. Because that's the only thing that's in the crowd. They don't even have faces. It's the whole town of mannequins here in Waikiki. The ball is on the fairway. And you know the worst part? The For a while, this was the only golf game on the system. It took Mario Golf to finally come along and give Nintendo 64 owners a golf game worth playing. Before that, it was crap like this. And honestly, I can't think of any others. Like, were there other golf games for the N64? Like, there was Mario. There was one of Leia. Leia, yeah. Am I missing any? And don't say PGA European Tour. That's not missing. It's willfully ignoring. So the course looks like crap, and yes, I said course, singular, there, that's, there's one course, and that's one of weird, one of, one of weird Hawaii name, which means there are 18 holes in this entire game. Tiger Woods has more holes in his character than you'll find in this game. And you might think, well, for a game made 16 years ago, that'd, that's probably not terrible. And no, it might not be, but I wouldn't know, because all we had was Mario Golf. Asking a Nintendo 64 owner about golf games, it's like asking Tiger Woods about crashing SUVs. Actually, it was the exact opposite of that. I guess presentation's the primary culprit here. I mean, the game looks awful, it sounds awful, the menus look like they're, they were done in Microsoft Word, and the animations of the golfers, too. Like, look at that! They're like, pre-rendered disappointment. This game looked outdated the day it came out, and it was released in 1998. So somehow it went back in time to be as disappointing as possible. It's basically Back to the Future 3. What happened? He's not playing like himself. Mentally. He needs to start over. And what's with that guy? What's with the commentary? That's, all, that's like, that's the worst golfing commentary I've ever heard. And I've heard, like, a lot of golfing commentary. Fortunately, it has a nice selection of modes. You can do tournament play, open play, stroke play. Actually, I think the game's strength is easily its multiplayer. You can play with up to four players, which would have been awesome in 1998. It's awesome now in better games, especially. But if you're gonna play this, that's the way to do it. The game itself is pretty vanilla otherwise, so with friends, it, it becomes at least a little entertaining. And really, that, that's the only impression this game leaves with you, just how vanilla it is. It's like an example of golf by numbers, you know? And an outdated example at that. The presentation's awful, and even though the gameplay's decent, it's, it's certainly nothing special. Tell you who is special though, our friend Theodore from Honolulu, Hawaii. He sent us this game with a massive box of freaking candy. So, thank you, Theodore. I'd give you a hug if I could. As for the game, eh, I give it a dick seven plus two. It's a long birdie putt. Nice birdie. 